one. Hello and welcome back to the co-op playthrough of Donkey Kong Country Returns. It's time to jump into the factory, for we have beaten the cliffside. Foggy Fumes will be our first level, and it looks like it, just like the last world, Matthew. This map is going to change as we work our way through the levels. Yeah, or it could just stay foggy. <laughs> oh, I forgot about this level. Nice. Oh, yeah. This is one of my favorites. I love um, the silhouette levels. I thought I remembered, like, something to the left. Maybe not. But I mean, a factory silhouette level? That's just... That's really cool. You've outdone yourself this time, Donkey Croc. I wonder if a puzzle piece comes out if you keep doing that. I'm sure on at least one of them. Oh. Oh, goodness. At least the bananas come to you. There's just so many of them. Oh, banana coins. All right, I'm not doing that anymore. If only you could blow this fog away. Yeah, that'd be an interesting thing to do. I thought maybe if you pound near them, it would neutralize the electricity. And presumably this is where they're processing all the bananas that oh, are shipping I think in. now there's something to the left, yeah. Uh... Gosh. <laughs> I doubt that was a real platform. There, there we, we go. go. That's a really far back. Yeah, that's a cool secret. So much better than a bonus room. Oh, hang on. There's something. Uh... Oh. Oh, the roll, man. It just doesn't come out when I want it to. <laughs> just not used to it yet. You've been playing too much Tropical Freeze. I have, like, long forgotten how Tropical Freeze feels. I think it's because, like, in this... I think I, I think I actually played this game more recently than Tropical Freeze, though. Yeah, I think it's because on, on this you have to get, like, a... Uh, like, the slightest of running starts. Hang on, there's something up there. Darn it. It just did it again. It's just like you have to slightly start running in order to roll, and um, yeah. I don't know. It feels like the you didn't have to do it as much in Tropical Freeze. Oh yeah, well Tropical Freeze definitely feels better. The control angle. I think with every one of those, but, but what if this is the one? Oh, that is so cool. I think there's something to the right, though. Oh, well. Whoops. Alright, so the fog has been lifted. Now it's just the... Factory. You know my favorite Donkey Kong Factory World? It's probably from Donkey Kong Land. Where you get, that one's get to really the city at the end. Yeah. Slam and steal. Uh, mine would still probably be the first Donkey Kong Country. That oil, one's... Uh, oil Drum Alley? Yeah. That, that one had awesome music. Well, that one I just... Yeah, well, this is the remix of it. Yeah. Um... But you know, Creme Croc Industries, that's like them industrializing the island, and that's what I like it, is that it's it's like them trying to take over. And that's what feels cool about it. 
Well, I think that's I mean, why it's like halfway natural and halfway. You specifically have that one as your favorite, right? Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't. I don't even think I have a favorite Donkey Kong game. Oh. It's honestly, you know, I like different things about most of them. There's um some. How do we get up there? I thought I like maybe that. jumping from the side. Nope. <laughs> I'm just like curious. Oh, up there. Oh, I thought I had the jetpack. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell. I'll give you a, a three-second yeah. warning next time. This music track might be the best Donkey Kong track ever. I needed that too. I don't know. I might I might say that the second one has the best music. Pound for pound. That's what a lot of people say, but I don't know. I I still go with uh, the first game, man. It's just forest interlude. There's uh there's the um, crystal levels. There's the um, the pirate songs. The scary ones that they have in the second one. The second one, the second game is pretty scary when it wants to be. Oh, the the one with the ghost pirate? Yeah, that, yeah, there, there's that one and there's the, like, clubba guy. The second one's a legitimately scary game when it wants to be. And that's in thanks partially to the, uh, the musical score. Uh-oh. It'll, it'll warp over. Well, I was, like, falling off the conveyor belt. Oh, Ugh. wait, there must, there, hold on, there's one we must have missed, because that's the one out, yep. Nice. I, I also love, it's a subtle thing, but the girders in this match the color scheme of the original Donkey Kong game. And by original Donkey Kong game, I mean the one with Jumpman in it. It's a nice touch. Yeah, see... I guess that never really matters to me, because I, I kind of consider the original Donkey Kong arcade game not really like Donkey Kong. It feels more like Mario than it does No way. Because what DK went on to be doesn't resemble that game at all. Like, not even well, yeah, what slightest. Mario came... Yeah, I mean, neither did Mario. But if you had to pick, like, what does it feel more like, like Donkey Kong Country or Mario? I, I don't know. I, I think I, I game would have is called to... Donkey Kong. Mario didn't exist, so... Right, but you don't even play Donkey Kong. You just... I don't yeah, know. but I mean, I don't know, like in, in some uh, Godzilla games, you wouldn't play as Godzilla, you'd play as, uh, like, de the Human Defense Force. Does that mean it's not a Godzilla game? Thanks. It's important questions. Ah, turn around. <laughs> oh, I just did I the same thing, I'm like, <laughs> let me show you how it's done, nerd. Oh, oh, no! Oh, gosh. I still got a hit here? You've challenged my perspective. Now I'm thinking of games now. It, like, is there... Uh, are there other examples of games where you don't play as the uh, protagonist? Or as the, um... Hold on. Protagonist is the wrong word. What the game's named after? I don't think so. Not really, anyway. No, you, you. Um, racking my brain, but I, I don't know. I think it's a. Uh, I imagine there's some examples. I mean, that's why, like, canonically speaking, that's why a lot of people say, like, outside of that game, Mario and Donkey Kong have never really existed in the same universe, and and that game just. Really, I mean, it doesn't resemble. Well, it's a set of games. There's, there's a bunch of them. Oh, cranky! I need some help. Oh, cranky! Can you sell me a parrot? Psh. <laughs> well, um, what I was gonna say though is that um, it really doesn't resemble what either of those franchises went on to become. Um, yeah, but I think you know that's that's uh, that's what some game characters do. You know, they some of them stick really close to home, and you know, you think of like something like Ratchet and Clank. 
and it's stayed virtually the same since its inception. But then you've got other franchises where, you know, Mario 64 is so different than what Mario was originally meant to be that... I, know, all I'm seeing is... I same just, thing with, I just, uh, with Mario Brothers as opposed to Super Mario Brothers. Yeah, I, I, all I'm trying to say is that I just think if you had to... If you had to say it's similar to one franchise more than the other, I would think it's more similar to Mario than DK. Because I just think DK is all about more, like, natural environments, pirates, you know, these different, like... Well, thematically. Yeah, that that's more so what I'm talking about. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand what you're what order you're supposed to go in here. Now, they did kind of continue the uh, Mario oh. plus Donkey Kong thing in the form of... Uh, they eventually inserted Mario into the series with the uh, Game Boy games. I don't know. I don't know. It's certainly a weird origin considering where Donkey Kong is now, but you gotta start somewhere. Plus, there's the uh, Donkey Kong Jr. games. Those are really my favorite because I, I liked the uh, moveset, which, you know... As far as uh, Donkey Kong-like things, Donkey Kong Jr. does have you, uh, that's, that's where the, um, fun fact, that's those little blue crocodiles from Donkey Kong Country, they came from Donkey Kong Jr. That's where they were originally from. Oh, no. Oh, gosh. Did you know that? No, I didn't. So the plot thickens. A Mario game or a Donkey Kong game? Did it start with Donkey Kong Jr.? Because canonically speaking, that is the uh, the Donkey Kong that we're seeing now. That's it's Donkey Kong Jr. grown up, and Cranky Kong was the Donkey Kong that Donkey Kong Jr. was trying to save. Yeah, I don't know. I know that Mario is technically the bad guy when you think about it. Even in the first Donkey Kong game, I think he's supposed to be like, oh come on. <laughs> supposed to be like a caged animal that got out from the zoo and that's why Mario's going after him and he took Pauline out of frustration apparently like that's like the real story of that game I can't remember I was reading a thing about it so when you think about it I mean Donkey Kong if assuming that's true um, it's not really the bad guy Bad treat. <laughs> There's too much red in this area. Throws my my eyes off. But oh, you can't like move when you Man. Oh my gosh. Oh man. Oh wow. A puzzle piece for that. Nice. Because, yeah, I definitely wasn't thinking about a puzzle piece. Oh wait, which one? Okay. 
Ay, ay, ay. All right, let's see. Ay, bananas. All right, so that's gonna open up uh, Cogjock. That's the fifth level, so we're gonna go Gear Getaway first. Gear Getaway, it sounds like a Rocket Bearer level. If I had to guess. You know what, honestly, what the interesting conversation, though, that we got lost in with that topic is, uh, or to me, a really interesting uh, one was the, what's the best Donkey Kong soundtrack? Because uh, a lot of people say country, too. For me, I, man, I don't know. I, I'm weird because I go first game all the way. Uh, I'd say country, too, or tropical freeze. Yeah, and that's Maybe the thing. Then you have a little to... more on tropical freeze. But, I mean, even this game, it's like these remixes are yeah. awesome. The, the weird thing to say is, though, like oh, if, if you like tropical freeze's soundtrack, which is a remix of a bunch of Donkey Kong Country 1 and 2, plus some new compositions, you know... Are you really inadvertently saying that the, <laughs> the original two well, games no, no, no. have the... Tropical Freeze is mostly original. There's only a few remixes in that one. Enough to uh, enough to be, like, a significant part of the soundtrack, though, you know? We're, like, you know, liking that, that game's soundtrack is kind of, you know, the same as liking the co Country 1, because a lot of the compositions are reused. Well, that, I was going to say, this is the one where, like, they pretty much every track is a remix. Um, but Tropical Freeze, most of it is pretty original. Um, they have yeah, a lot of the new worlds, but there's there's all these like callbacks with. Um, they did a, the remix of Aquatic Ambience in Irate Eight or uh, what is it? Uh, Lockjaw Saga is the one I'm talking about. Yeah, there, there's just like a handful of them, but but enough to like really have a presence on the soundtrack. All right, here's your. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Your, I'm your rocket barrel guy. How do we... Oh, the K is translucent. Okay. That's interesting. You, I guess I guess if you were to go back to where the K was in other levels, maybe you'd still find the stuff there. Wait, was the K didn't say we got it? It was there, but it was translucent, saying that we did get it. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's weird thing. It's because we got the checkpoint. Yeah, because if you don't get the checkpoint, like we'll have to get the O again. All right, so maybe this is the hardest rocket barrel level. This one's pretty difficult. It's one of those things, like, when you watch this being played, it doesn't look that hard, but... I... It's be very difficult. Ah! <laughs> Are you seeing this? <laughs> I'm seeing it. This... this, These rocket barrel levels stress me out, Ooh! especially these ones. You saw that, though? I did see it. Oh, 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 oh. oh, I keep feeling like I'm about to. Uh, uh, no! <laughs> oh, uh, oh, I had it going for a while donkey there. Donkey croc. I was like on a roll there. Okay, it's the, I, we got a checkpoint right before this part. Or wait, maybe never mind. Darn it! I keep like looking away for just a second. Sorry, you're just getting back into the rhythm. All right, the the best soundtrack though is obviously Donkey Kong 64. <laughs> it's a, I mean, I, I, I actually don't really love the music of DK 64. Certain Man, tracks. Man, this is this is cool how zoomed out everything is, just the scale of what the Kongs are doing, yeah. the links they'll go to for a little potassium in their life. <laughs> well, they're golden bananas, man. That's why everyone Magical wants them. Magical powers, according to someone. That's why everyone what, wants what them. What was it? The instruction booklet of, uh, of one of the games said that. Yeah. There's a there's a couple of different reasons why everyone wants the bananas. I don't know why the tiki's want them. I forgot. Okay, that's nice. Nice. Alright, so now it's time for Cog Jog. 
Jogging on some cogs. Cog jogging. Jog that noggin. Jog the cogs in your All right, noggin. we get it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh, this uh, track. Have they used this yet? I don't think so. Oh, this is the track they use for... What would you describe those levels as? Hang on, I'm going to see if there's a puzzle piece. It's all the, like... You know what I'm talking about? They're all in, like, the mines? Yeah, I, I know what the track is. I don't think it has, like, a specific... No, no, not the track. I'm saying, you remember the levels they were in? Like, what would you describe those levels as? They were the ones with the bridges and your, like... Industrial in... caves? I don't know. Yeah. Those were actually some of the coolest uh, levels. I don't know why I'm just uh, now remembering those. Join me, donkey. There's a banana out there. There is, isn't there? Alright, um... Ooh. Oh, this remix is so good. Oh. You know what was the worst level with this uh, music track, though? You remember the, um... The one where you have to keep getting the fuel barrels to keep your track going? Yes. It's actually not a hard level, I, but as a kid, I thought it was, like, the hardest thing ever. No, the tough one is, uh... The, the one where the platforms move, and then oh. they fall. Oh, yeah, Specifically yeah. Specifically with only Diddy Kong. There's a, there's oh. a Game Boy Advance version of Donkey Kong Country that has a Diddy Kong only mode and there is an enemy at the end of that level who Diddy cannot hurt. Oh yeah, the guy who lapped Crusher. On a tiny, tiny platform that you have to land on. You have to jump on the platform right before I thought you can his feet and then jump around him. It's it's crazy. I thought you can uh, cartwheel past it. Hang on, there's something up here. Uh, you might be able to. Um, hang on, there's like all kinds of banana. Oh, that was weird. Alright, you go... Or, okay, there we go. I think the bananas are more so showing you where it's safe to land. But yeah, I do remember that part where there's that... Oh, that's uh, what we were supposed to do. There's that, like, gray version of Crusha. Yeah. And he, uh, he just... Uh. <laughs> yeah, I wonder if we should eventually do Donkey Kong Country, the Game Boy version, since it has, a, a, like, dialogue and stuff. <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't, actually, I really, don't like that version, but... See, I actually love that version. There, I, it looked like... Didn't it look like there was a barrel in the center of this thing? Like, over here? Yeah, there is. Maybe we... Oh, wait a second. Gotta hit the switch. Well, I pounded on this, and then it started moving. Yeah. I think we... I don't know. Alright, there's, like... Huh. Nice. The problem with the... Oh, this is an interesting bonus room. Yeah, oh, we found the awesome. switch. Yeah, more stuff like this where it just affects the level, I'm all for. I'll blow uh, the fire out. The problem with the Game Boy Advance Donkey Kong is that it came out during the time where the Game Boy Advance didn't have uh, a backlight, and so to compensate so that you could actually see the game while you're playing it, especially in daylight, they made it the colors so super, they're like super saturated, and they look just so weird. That's my shtick with the uh, with the Game Boy Advance version. Other yeah. than that, it did. It added a lot of cool things, like you could actually keep track of what bonuses well, the, you found. It added the snapshots. The snapshots. That's yeah. what. Oh, 
So some some solid stuff as well, but uh, Why did I don't it, like the colors. <laughs> it grabbed into the one that you weren't on. I didn't get that. The snapshots are what sells it for me. Just adding like something extra to find. Me being the collector I am. Yeah, it's a fun addition. And I like how they add a little dialogue to spice it up a little bit. Whoops. I don't know what I was thinking there. That worked out. I'll just wait for you. I think that this thing is going to move faster than I will. Back to 99, my boy! <laughs> yeah, when you get to 15 lives, it's just so worth it. Alright, so there's one pad uh, that's lit up. Now we're moving on to Switcheroo. Oh, so we have to find a switch in each level. Otherwise, it doesn't matter what we do. You remember no, this, right? Oh, this level. No, why did you... <laughs> you see, now, uh, actually, that's probably a good demonstration, is if you hit the switch while a Kong is there, they'll... Uh, oh, I didn't even realize... I forgot that about the whole switch mechanic. I didn't even realize I hit it. Oh. I, I thought they were on a timer. <laughs> What? Oh, did I hit the switch again? Yeah. There we go. It's a well-hidden secret. Or not really well-hidden, but well-executed, I should say. I don't know. That one's the best bonus room. Just nice and simple. Yeah. Well, it, well, oh. it actually works as a good bonus to give you a little reprieve from the crazy platforming. Oh, what? I guess you just stunned those guys. This is going to be so interesting to do on co-op. Yeah, I think I'll mostly try and avoid the switches. And, uh... Or hit it again. Oh, whoops. Oh, okay. there's one up there, that's why. Yeah, All right. um... Oh, this is just how you get up. <laughs> okay. Alright, so let me do it now. Oh, what? Why'd you... Oh. Okay. Um... Alright, we gotta try and avoid them here. Let's get rid of all these guys. Oh, whoops. Nice. Ooh, I'm glad we were thinking the same thing there. Some passages like that that are just... <laughs> what are you even doing? All right, how do we... Um... Uh, well, if we activate that one, we can't get back. Uh, well, wait, unless you, you want to just... Yeah. Um... I'd be interested to know how you normally do that, though. There's probably some switch up ahead. Ooh. Oh, that's the switch. This 
That's the most satisfying plug I've ever seen. Yeah. Hang on, I'm sorry. I didn't even mean to hit that. No, you're good. I, I kind of like the challenge of trying to do it together. Alright. Oh, wow. Alright, now. Oh, if we go at the same time, it doesn't yeah. activate it twice. Yeah, this is a co-op game that actually has co-op in mind. You you jump ahead, I'll I'll just stay here to get the balloon. Alright, uh you ready to Yeah. Alright, so I'm gonna jump down. Oh. I thought we were just gonna Oh this. whoops. Alright, hang on a second. If I do this. No, we don't Oh, I think the tire just disappeared. What tire? Oh no, they're attached. These ones. Hang on. Oh! I don't I'm know sorry. why I did No, that's my fault. I don't know why I did it. Alright, uh, so we have to small jump. Whoa. Oh! Oh, kids. Hang on, I can get over there. Oh! Oh, gosh. <laughs> I can get over there. That's what yeah, you're yeah, yeah. supposed to do, but. Alright, uh. And this time I'll let you go ahead first. Oh! <laughs> My bad. <laughs> Alright, All right. now. No! <laughs> uh, it's actually probably easier just to go through the middle there. Oh, hang on. Ah. We were a little discombobulated there. There we go. So thoughtful to make the switches have like a little bit of a timer on them to where if you hit them at the same time. Oh, wait. Hold on. I know what to do. Yeah. We're gonna. There's uh, something up there. Yeah, we gotta uh, go around. Um. Sorry. You gotta roll through that and then... Oh, I, I attached to you at the same time you must have grabbed me. Oh. Oh. Bit of a mistimed jump there. Sorry. Alright, um... Oh! Why'd you drop where the switch was? <laughs> Oh, it's okay. The checkpoint's right here. This is such a cool level. Let me get that heart. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you're supposed to bounce off the chicken, I think. Oh! <laughs> Goodness. <laughs> okay, hold on. <laughs> Alright, uh... Three, two, one. Oh. We both have one heart, uh, just so you know. Alright, so if you want to go to the next one and I'll get the chicken. Yeah. I'm gonna grab this. Yeah. <laughs> just a little insurance policy. Alright, three, two, one. Oh. 
Oh, I was trying to hit him. Um, real quick, hit that switch again. I want to see if there's, um... Here, I'll... Alright, uh... Oh, are you going... Okay, uh, three, two, one. Alright, three, two, one. Oh, three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> three, two, one. Okay, three, two, one. <laughs> three, two, one. It's because I, yeah, I have to. It's hard to make that jump with DK. You gotta go forward and then backward and then forward and then backward. It's a really good level, though. Madness. Oh, it's gonna be a bunch of those little horns, I bet, that we've been seeing. Oh, you can get on top of it. I thought you got boosted up from... It must be some of the other ones. Ah, I keep... Oh. Going a second early. Use your jetpack like close to it when it's. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Oh, nice. Oh, there was a barrel. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hang on. There's anything for going left on top of these, but it's probably a puzzle piece. Ah, I forgot about the switch. This is such a cool little thing. I love these little in-universe secrets. 
Yep. Yep. That, that lifts you up, yeah. Yeah. This is how cooling systems work. The hot water comes, or... Oh, what? That's... Not cool. Oh, goodness. <sighs> I, I was actually just trying to get out of the way. I thought he was close enough to hit me again. Sure didn't get you. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh my goodness! This is so hard. Uh oh. One thing that Rayman definitely had over uh, this game and Mario is when you lose, you have control over where you fly. Oh yeah. So yeah, you I get yourself in position. I never got I really feel like it's a it's a thing because the Wii remote, you have to shake it. And I really feel like that's the reason why, because I I never understand why the bubble in Mario and then the barrel in this, they travel so slow. I think the barrel is a lot faster than the bubble in Mario, but it's still just like why? Oh nice. So the temple level's unlocked, which means it's time for liftoff. By lift off, I mean a boss fight. I don't know how those Ooh. things correlate, but. Well, the boss fight was a different space, so I think. It is? Yeah. I didn't. What space was it? This was the only one that opened up besides the temple level. <laughs> now this rocket barrel level is awesome. Wait Look a second, at all is the this towers. Gonna, is this gonna take me to the next world? I don't know. Didn't seem like the boss opened up. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't think so either. But oh my goodness, so close. Oh, I thought they were part of the background. I did too. Wait, should we check, though? Like, should we go back, or... Or just do it? What do you think? I mean, we can we can go back. That's the thing you can do. It just, I just it don't know. Weird. It feels we, like... It's not like we found a secret exit or something. Yeah. Alright. Uh, yeah, no, that's it. Unless you go to the rocket itself. No. Okay. Because that's the temple level, right? That's not, like, the boss. Yeah. Yeah. Alrighty then. Just wanted to make sure. So we don't leave a stone unturned around here. No, how are you supposed to get that? Oh, you can speed up! Why would you want to do that, though? Oh, I bet there will be a reason to later. Oh, yeah. Use the boost to chase! Oh, nice! 
It's raining bananas. Do you notice we lost like 40 lives like it was nothing? Yep. <laughs> Ah! You lift off. Feather to get fiend. To Feathered fiend. Power of the golden banana. here. Oh, that sounds like a Crash Bandicoot track. Yeah. What do we do here? Oops. I was... Well, for that part, we were just supposed to escape him. I was just trying to pound there. Right, but how do we attack you? Eventually... Now... Oh, I thought he was going to have the, you have to get to the middle. It's been awesome. like his uh, erratic behavior there. So yeah. Like the tell. You want to go now? Is... He's going to go erratic in a second. Oh, oh I was so close. Get him. Oh, what? You're supposed to drop off at that point? Uh, oh, it's like, to it's random too, whether he's actually gonna... Or no, I think he... Oh, hold on. Okay. I think he did that first last time too. There's something you can do to like trigger what he does. Oh, hold on, hold on. Oh, I thought he squashes yes. first. Here, um, he most certainly does not. All right, thank goodness, I'm done with that phase. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, 
Oh, and he's gonna charge first. Now he's gonna squash first. Oh, is he? No, yeah, it does change. Maybe it's if, if you're under him, he does that. Oh, what? I don't get it. Yeah, I gotta say, for all the good game design this game has, I, I don't think this boss is very well designed. <laughs> Not because it's hard, it's just, uh, there's no prediction on the player's part. You know, you kind of just have to guess. Yeah, I wonder, I, I'm trying to pay more attention to him and see if there's, like, there's, like, no indication. Now, if he's in the air and is little hatch on the bottom changes, then, you know, that's pretty clear tell, but... Very strange. Oh! Yeah, but then, like, by the time he's doing that, it's, oh. like, too late. It's weird. So strange. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna get hit on purpose, so that... Oh, there was a heart, but I landed on it. Ah. Oh, I think you need to use a chicken as a trampoline for him. I've been able to get up there without it. Maybe, yeah, probably with a roll jump. <laughs> <laughs> now that's an appropriate enemy yeah. for Diddy to slay him into. Alright, you think it's, what is this, World 7? Yeah, I'm all the odd numbers, so... Allow Donkey Croc. Twenty-two. All right, it's about time. All right, so we've emerged victorious with the feathery say, fiend. It sounds like the banana stomping factory has been put out of business. <laughs> and now we head to the volcano. To face the head of this operation. <laughs> yeah, right, there's a big the tiki buttons. head at the at the top. <laughs> uh, there's also a big tiki head at the top yeah. of the teeth. And uh, mean eyes. So we're going to go confront him next at the top of the volcano. As the adventure continues in Donkey Kong Country Returns.